All right, I'm testing some technical updates for SR Counter Trend 2 and Ninja Trader 8. This is on 15 second charts. I'm trying to load a one second chart. Here is some trades from a 15 second chart. Here is the performance summary um, for SR Counter Trend 2. So if you look at this on a 15 second chart, it only, only has six months of data, but here you have 63.90, uh, profit $2,000 drawdown, 36 trades, $177. Average trade profit, here is the equity curve. Again, there's not many trades, so an equity curve with 36 trades doesn't give you much information. But just further testing this on lower time frames. And here is the summary again. How does it look on, um, that's SR Counter Trend 2, SR Counter Trend 2 V2. And we'll take a look at it. 36.60, 30 trades, 122 average trade profit. Here is the equity curve again. Only six months of data when we go below one minute time frames. And so about to test one second charts. I'm just waiting for the data to load. These are the results from what was previously loaded, which is 15 second charts. And you see it's a nice entry on a um, pivot point down here. Exits on a pivot point. Exit takes another exit on a pivot point. Two different strategies plotted on the chart. We'll see how they look on um, one second charts. And then I'll go back up to one minute, five minute, 15 minute charts and show you that. I'll pause the video while we're loading the one second chart. All right, so we have the one second chart loaded. Let's look at the results. Strategy performance report, SR Counter Trend 2, uh, historical, uh, 48.80 total net profit, 135 average trade profit, $2,000 drawdown. Again, we only have six months of data since it's sub one minute charts. And here is here are the results. So you don't get much from 30 trades, the equity curve. But it would be interesting to see uh, what it would do if we had more historical data. But it further validates this strategy on a different time frame. So let's take a look at um, V2. And V2 is similar, very, very similar. So here are... Here's the equity curve for V2. So very similar results on one second time frame. So um, I'm going to pause the video. We're going to go back to the one minute chart. And uh, then we'll do five minute and 15 minutes. Okay, so here we are on um, one minute charts. And you see similar trades being laid out. We have more history. And so 68.37 average trade profit. Uh, $4,500 drawdown, and um, you know, see, seeing the similar trades makes you wonder if this would work better overall on one second and 15 second charts, um, since you have the same same trades but a higher average trade profit. So we had to take a look at the last six months of average trade profit on this time frame to really do a good comparison. So that is SR Counter Trend 2 V2, SR Counter Trend, actually at SR Counter Trend 2, let's look at V2 now. V2 one minute is shows these results. Higher average trade profit. Um, SR Counter Trend 2 is basically set up for five minute charts, but it's, it also works on uh, one minute charts. And so you can see lots of options, lots of um, combinations. And so here, here it is, SR Counter Trend 2 V2. And let's take a look at SR Counter Trend 2 once again. Because typically we only set this up on five minute charts, but the results look great on one minute charts. So here is the equity curve, and you can see the results. So that is one minute. Let's go to uh, five minute charts, and then I'll pause the video and come back. Actually, it, it, it happened quickly, so we can take a look at it. SR Counter Trend 2 is. Here it is, 40,000, 68, We're going back to 95, 2006. There is the equity curve. Now let's look at V2. Actually, we just looked at that one. Let's look at V2. 33,560, 72 average trade profit. Pretty straight equity curve, I like that. 
and a good average trade profit for day trading the NQ. Let's look at 15 minute. Should load pretty quick. All right. So counter trend two first. The higher the time frame, the less trades. 61.44. Here is the equity curve. SR counter trend two V2 now. Nineteen thousand fifty one dollars. There it is. So that is um, those are results for the NQ. As you know, these work on many different markets. And if you want to keep watching, I'm going to pause the video and look at three minute charts and then five second charts. So here it is on three minute charts. Let's take a look here. 41, 345, $4,300 drawdown, average trade profit $67, analysis. This is SR Counter Trend 2. Let's look at SR Counter Trend 2 V2. $66, average trade profit. Nice equity curve. So it continues to work on different time frames. To pause the video, look at one more time frame, which is five seconds, and I'll come back. All right, five second. Let's take a look here. Here are the results on five seconds going back six months. Um, here is the equity curve again. There's you know only six months, only 36 trades. So um, that's SR counter trend two V2 or SR counter trend two. Let's look at V2. Fairly similar results, high average trade profit. So that is the, um, those are the results for trading the NQ on different time frames using SR Counter Trend 2 and SR Counter Trend 2 V2.